What's up everybody? This is a 3 speed ceiling fan in my son's room and the chain that controls the speed of the fan broke off. So we can't change the speed of the fan anymore. In this video I will show you how I replaced the fan switch on our ceiling fan. In a separate video I will show you how I repaired the fan switch if you want to do that. The first thing you need to do is turn off the power to the ceiling fan. There are different designs to these ceiling fans. This design has four light bulbs and each bulb has a glass bell shaped shade. In the center you have this housing that holds in the electrical wiring and it is attached to the fan with three screws. You can remove the housing with the bulbs and shades all attached to each other. But because I'm clumsy I'm going to remove the bulbs and shades to avoid breaking them. There are three screws that hold in each glass shade. You don't have to loosen all three screws to remove each shade. Just loosen two of the screws on each shade and the shade will come out. Let's remove the screws that hold in the center housing. After the last screw is removed, the housing may fall. So hold the housing with one hand while removing the last screw. The wire harness can be disconnected by pressing on this tab. And then you can separate the two halves of the connector. It's tricky to do with one hand. The bottom housing can now be worked on away from the fan. Here is the speed switch. Remove the cap that holds it onto the housing. Pull the switch in and lift it out. On the black side of the switch you can see a number or letter corresponding to specific colored wires. Take a picture so you know what color goes where on your fan. Here is the wiring configuration for my fan. To separate the green part from the black part, you need to push these three side clips away from the switch while you're prying the two halves apart from each other. After popping off each clip, I use my thumb to try and keep the two halves separated. It can take some practice. To disconnect the wires, you can wiggle them and slide them out. Just make sure that you use your thumb to hold in these copper contacts because they can also come out with the wire. You can also use a small flathead screwdriver to pry back on the copper contacts and release the wire. Be careful with this capacitor inside the housing. It stores energy and it may still have energy if you turn on the fan minutes before working on it. You can discharge the capacitor by touching the colored wires against each other. You might see a spark when it discharges. You can also use a screwdriver to make contact between the wires if you don't want to be close to them. So here's the switch with a broken chain inside. You can order replacement switches on Amazon. I will post links to the switches in the video description. Here is my replacement switch. I'm reconnecting the wires exactly how they were previously connected. Push each wire into its proper location and pull it to ensure that it's locked in. I need to insert the chain into the hole. Push the switch into the hole. Insert the chain into the cap and then thread the cap in and tighten it. Reconnect the wire harness. Then insert the screws that hold the housing in place. I'm testing it to make sure that it works. It's good. Now I need to reinstall the glass shades and light bulbs and I'm done. While you have access to the fan blades, check them for any loose screws. I found one fan blade was poorly installed and loose. Don't worry if you lose those little washers that go with the screws. You can still use the screws without the washers. Be attentive to your surroundings and use your ears to listen in case you drop the screws. It's easier to fasten and remove screws if you're using a magnetic screwdriver. You can use a magnetizer to make your bits magnetic. If you need additional screws, you can buy them on Amazon or take one of the spares to your nearby hardware store and ask for a replacement. If you get a little rattle noise like this, it's the screws that hold in the shades. Make sure they're all securely fastened. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up, leave your thoughts in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next one.